All right, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back for another video. Uh, before we get started, just show you guys my shirt if you didn't see it last video. Um, yeah, shirt I got made today. Uh, subscribe on the back, as you can see. Let me know if you guys want to purchase a shirt, if, if I should promote this shirt as my merch for my channel so I can try to uh, you know, get um, donations from my channel to so help support my channel, stuff like that, so I can you know, get better equipment. And stuff like that, but um, yeah. Last video I did multi bow with five for three. Now we got spud whip five for seven, just four inches taller. Still a short ass point guard though. Spud whip was probably more athletic and more explosive than multi bows, not just because of the height, but because that's just how he was. He was really explosive and would dunk on anybody, but um. Go get right into the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And shout out to Joseph Vincent for the video. Shout out to Joe. And let's get it. By the way. And uh, I said this guy was a great basketball player. Spud was a rock star at NC State. Uh, the fans, and I think the get nation up. at hey. the time uh, was in love uh, with this game and his ability. Five foot seven inches tall. Hold on. Why are you trying to in and out? I guess the guy that's five foot seven is already down low where the ball is at. Just either do a crossover or like a just a little hazy, uh, go up, try, try to blow by uh, behind the back or something like that. But don't try to in and out because you in and out, the ball's right in front of him, so he can just swipe like he just did there. But I'll blow away the argument that hey. have when they say they're too small to play basketball. That dunk he just did that was the only I, I did that dunk on a one time my whole life. Well, no, nah, I might be wrong, but I know I did it in high school once. Cause I don't know. Oh, Spud Webb, see hey. takes advantage Here's a guy that comes in and digs his way through and he was shorter than a damn trainer. And one who everybody thought couldn't make it. Five foot seven is Spud Webb. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Imagine in the early years when Spud Webb was in Imagine the second best dunk on the team when he's with the Hawks was Spud Webb, five foot seven. Nope, give me that. Very few other small players. So I don't know how many people took the series at five foot seven. But go for the dunk. Damn. He brought the ball down to his and waist. Guys, uh, he still had time to bring it up and dunk it with two hands. It's crazy. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to win it. All the eyes are against me. He was actually a freak of nature. I never yeah, seen him. He was tough, like too. Just like Muggsy, he was. Hey! Mmm! That bitch stopped playing with that boy. Buzz about this dunk contest in Dallas. But the slam dunk first round coming up right now. Five foot seven. Emotional hometown favorite. Five foot seven in Spud Webb from this area uh, has gotten a lot of national publicity lately. A great leaper, and he will really turn the crowd on. But I don't think he's a, a, a contestant to win this thing. To prove him wrong, I think he did win it this year. I mean that year, '86. And we will obviously be watching the dunk contest, and I was like, is this guy, are they for real? And now, he is for real. First attempt. Guy, the crowd, mm. I was like, what's this Then he bounced off his head and back out of the room. <laughs> you know, he's the smallest guy, you know, he, he, he hadn't shown anything during the season. It was the most surprising performance of any slam dunk contest I've ever seen in my life. Nobody gave him a chance. Hey! Look how high up he is. Five feet seven. A 50 for Spud Webb. Not only do you have to have like strong legs to do that, you gotta have a strong core too. Like your abs. Performance like Spud. Damn. I can't do that. I could never do that. Well, I never tried it, but still, I don't think I could do that. Back when I had my own crazy hops. That's crazy. Local 
like the Olympics. Oh! Another, it's another dunk I can't do 360. I never, I don't think I ever done 360. Cause for one, I don't like spinning around. For one, I get dizzy. Even Jordan went crazy. Damn. He just went back to back. He must love, he must love that dunk back there. Before Spud came along, guys that were six feet and under, you really didn't think of. You, first of all, you didn't Get up. Hey. <laughs> well, I used to dunk down like five, seven, five, eight, but I was in an NBA doing this. TV that race so fake. Press pause. There you have it. Five foot seven spot web. That's crazy. But it's not like nowadays people are five, 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 six, five, seven, they can dunk. But back then it wasn't a lot it wasn't a lot of people that height <coughs> they could dunk. At least I don't think it was. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment below. I believe you guys will. A lot of you guys know more about back in the day basketball than I do. Because I'm not that old. A lot of my viewers are between I think like 40 something, 50 something, 60 something. I got some younger viewers, but for the majority, majority of my viewers are of their age. Uh, and I really, really appreciate you guys coming in and um give me your thoughts and all kind of stuff on my videos and my my opinions and stuff i appreciate it but um thanks for watching guys subscribe if you're new you know let me know what y'all think about the shirt should i promote it as my merch to uh to sell for you guys to purchase or whatever like that let me know and i might i might do a poll on that in the community the youtube community tab and um we'll see where we go from there but um yeah y'all guys you guys stay blessed stay smooth i ain't said that a long time stay smooth stay blessed i might start by saying that stay smooth stay blessed i'm out